But I want to begin with a Bluey episode. Hands up if you watch Bluey. Terrific. I'm glad to see. Yeah, not many hands. They're all up the front. That's great. And there was an episode this week on Bluey called Fairy Tale. And it was an absolute corker. Mr. Bailey's nodding his head and making noises like he's eating a Mars bar. It was really good. And it was about the, what, what decade was it? It was about the 80s, wasn't it? So I thought I'd share a fairy tale from my 80s because I was alive in the 80s too. And in the 80s, we moved to a new house. So this is going to appear up here. Uh, that's not the house, everyone. That's the church. It was in a town called Kayama. And the church and the house were humongous. And they were built by convicts from the first fleet. I was... Have a guess. How, how old do you think I was in 1980? Ten? I wish I was. No, I was half ten. Five. I was five. And we moved to this ginormous house. And do you know who I needed near me all the time to make sure I was okay? Have a guess. Who? No, I needed mum and dad. So that's the next slide. That's mum and dad in their younger days. And uh, I needed mum and dad near me all the time. But do you know what, what happened one day? I couldn't find them. I couldn't find mum and dad anywhere. I ran around the house. I couldn't find them. I ran down to the church, which is that picture. I couldn't find them. I searched the whole church grounds, and we lived on five acres at the bottom of a massive big headland. I couldn't find them. Do you think I was really happy about that or really scared? I was scared witless. I was so scared witless that I was motivated to walk down the main street to the police station and say, I can't find my mum and dad. I'm scared. And do you know what happened? Mum and Dad were sitting in deck chairs out the back and I hadn't looked in the backyard. But the police brought me back. They sat me next to Mum and Dad. Mum and Dad were near and everything was okay. Next slide, boys. You see, we're like that. We need God being near to us. We learnt last week, as Andrew was talking about the psalm that he was working on, that we can't go up to God. We need God to come to us. And there's two ways we can remember that. We're going to remember that in a couple of days. How many days do we remember this? Can you remember? Christmas. How many days? How many days? Help out the kids. Five days. How many days? Six days till Christmas when we remember that not only is God near, God's with us always. He came as the baby Jesus to live, die and rise for our sins. And here's the other place we know where God is always near. We know it in this, don't we? What's this? It's a Bible. And I've been encouraging you to learn a memory verse, haven't I? Can anyone anyone remember the memory verse? All right. Mr. Stiller puts his hand up. Baxter puts his hand up. Elsa puts her hand up. Mrs. Morris put her hand up. I don't know if I've got enough Mars bars. Uh, Sage put her hand up. Do you know, come up the front, those who want to share the memory verse with us. Come up the front. Yes, Mr. Stiller, come up the front. Mrs. Morris, come up the front. All right. One of the reasons that I'm encouraging you to remember God's word is that if you remember it, it's here and here, so God's always near in his word, okay? So we're going to do the memory verse. Hands up who's memorized it as words. Hands up who's memorized it in song. Holy dooly. All right, gentlemen, words in a loud voice. Stand up next to, stand up next to Mr. Mr. Stiller. Loud voice, gentlemen. Oh, well done, gentlemen. Come and get your Mars bars. Come and get your Mars bars. Easier this week than last week. Grab a seat. Don't eat them now, son. <laughs> All right. Are we going to sing it? You're going to sing it? Are you going to sing it? Maybe. All right, Elsa, do you need the microphone or you just want to sing it with your voice? Yep, go for it, girl, in a loud voice. The Lord is my strength. No, that's right. Say it out loud. Just say it out loud. <laughs> come here, gorgeous. Come and sit next to me and we'll let Mrs. Morris go and you'll find your singing voice. Go, Mrs. Morris. <laughs> go, Mrs. Morris. <laughs> my heart. And I am held. Say it together. Why don't you two say it together? Why don't... The Lord is my 
Well done, well done. Grab Mrs. Morris, Mrs. Morris. I'll, I'll chuck it to Mr. Morris. Good catch, Mr. Morris. Grab a seat. Well done, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, remember God's word. And as you remember God's word, store it away in your hearts and your minds so that God is always with you in what he says. And I'm going to pray. Let's pray. Dear God, thanks for your word. Thanks that we can remember it. Thanks that we can know that you are near because you came to us. Amen.